everyone, it's Sonia Elsie here. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a get ready with me. If I sound a little bit like I just woke up, it's because I did. It's like 7.45 in the morning, and I'm going to be getting ready for a Lana Del Rey concert. Lana is performing at the Hollywood Amoeba store in like a couple hours, so I'm going to get ready for that, and I am so fucking excited to see her, you guys. You literally don't even know. But um, yeah, let's get started with the video. I'm going to be doing kind of like... I think a regular makeup look, but I might be doing it a little more intense than usual just because I'm about to see my mom, queen, princess, president in the United States, you know. <laughs> so the first thing that I do is put this 100% pure coffee bean caffeine eye cream. And I just put this under my eyes just because I have the worst under eye circles of my entire fucking life. Um, yeah, I just, I just like to rub it underneath. I don't really know if this helps or not. But I got it like a long time ago and I was like, you know what? It's better than fucking nothing. So we're gonna just do that. Next I'm going to take this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Correction Concealer. And I'm just gonna put that on all of my little bullshits that I have. Because I have kind of a lot of pimples right now. I think I'm about to start my period. So I've been breaking out a lot this week, which is super annoying. But you know, that's life. Sometimes in life you break out and then I like to do it under my eyes as well to brighten it but yes you guys I'm so excited to see Lana so basically Lana performed at this bar that was really close by to my apartment so I was so excited waiting like to see her but I only saw her for like two seconds and then I wake up the next morning to Stella texting me like a million times and she's like oh my god these Lana tickets are randomly for sale at this music shop that's like super close to our house and I was like oh my god are you serious so this is the foundation that I'm using, it is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation. It is in the shade Light Neutral, because you'll always ask what shade I use. But um, yeah, so they were on sale at 10.30 only in store. And so she went and she got them and Lana hadn't tweeted about it or anything. Like, it was just from this Lana fan account that she had heard from it. So there was no one there yet. And I think she was like well, the first or second person to get the tickets. We got a CD and we get a ticket to see her and it was only $20 or something, which is so exciting. And today is Stella's birthday. She turns 19, which is so fucking awesome. It's just about to be such a good day and I'm, I'm so fucking excited. I'm gonna vlog today also, you guys. I've been posting a lot more on my vlog channel, which is cool. Um, I've been just like vlogging a lot more and kind of just, I don't know, the vlogs aren't as high quality as they would be if I were to post them on my main channel, but I do just enjoy vlogging and sharing a part of my day with y'all and I feel like, I don't know, I just really appreciate the subscribers on my vlog channel. I feel like they know so much about me. Like, I'll go on you now and people ask me like, oh, like, just random nice questions like, how are your allergies or like, how's this? I'm like, oh my god, you remember? Okay, it's like, you know when you're talking to a boy, and they remember like random stuff about you and ask you about it or tell you or you're just having a conversation and they bring up that thing that you assume that they wouldn't remember and I'm like that's the same feeling I get when like I'm on you now or something and you guys ask me like <laughs> a random question about maybe a small minor thing that I mentioned in a vlog or like a video and it's just so nice so if you want to subscribe to my vlog channel I'm going to be Vlogging today. Um, I vlogged yesterday. I've been vlogging for like a while, but yeah, it's just so much fun to like vlog and I don't know. I wasn't really vlogging as much before when I was just kind of posting vlogs on my main channel. And you guys, I'm going to China in September, which I feel like I've mentioned a lot, but maybe I haven't. Um, but yeah, I'm going to China in September, which is going to be like super exciting. Oh my god. I have not been to China since I was like four months old and I don't remember going to China that time that I went so um you know this is gonna be it's gonna be fucking lit I guess ooh 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 I look so pale you guys like what this concealer though is pretty good I really like it it's very brightening I feel like it did a good job there's this other concealer that I used to use I think it was the same Wet n Wild one, but like before they revamped their brand. Wet n Wild changed like everything, you guys. I don't know if y'all have y'all have kept kept updated, but yeah. And don't forget to do foundation on your neck, you guys. I like to blend it just just everywhere, um, so it doesn't look so it doesn't look bad. This beauty blender I got from a place called Miko, I believe. It's like a makeup shop that um, if you guys know Henya. 
Uh, she showed me when she visited Los Angeles and it's actually like a completely vegan makeup store except for maybe one product isn't vegan, but I feel like that if 99% of the store is vegan, like, that's that's pretty fucking good, okay? Um, yeah, it's a vegan cruelty-free brand, and I don't know. It's just really, really freaking cool. Okay, so next we are going to be using powder. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder. Honestly, guys, I'm not a big fan of, like, this powder, and I think I'm just not a fan of, like, loose powder. I don't know. It's so annoying just to try and put on and all that stuff, but you know, that's fucking life. But it does do a good job of my face not looking greasy, but it just, it's annoying to put on. It kind of gets everywhere. Like I have to shake it and put it on the other side of the thing and like, I don't know. It's just a big hassle. And I don't know if I mentioned this at the beginning, you guys, but my allergies are like making a guest appearance. So I might sound super nasally. I've sounded really nasally for the past, like, few days. Um, but you know, oh well. And I'm also using a Wet n Wild brush. I love Wet n Wild brushes. They're just so nice, so smooth. They're also vegan. Um, they don't use any animal fur. It's like synthetic fur, so that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing bronzer. This is the e.l.f. Healthy Glow Bronzer. And I'm just going to take some of that, put it on the side of my cheeks as kind of a contour. You guys, I am not really that good at makeup at all. <laughs> like, I'm pretty sure that you're not supposed to use, I don't know, this product as contour. But, you know, it's all good. I'm doing what makes, what makes me look good, what I'm comfortable doing. So, you know, that's all that matters. But what else? Recently, life has been good. I've been working on my poetry book. I've mentioned that a lot as well, but also maybe I haven't. I don't know. I always get confused with like what social medias I mention things on. Like, did I mention it on my vlog channel? Did I mention it on my unit? Or did I mention it on my main channel? I don't know, but I feel like I've mentioned it a lot. So I, yeah, I'm working on my poetry book, which is exciting. I'm so excited to publish that, you guys, because I remember when I was very young, my dream was to be an author, like, very, very young. I remember third, fourth, fifth grade, I don't know, I would always talk about it. I loved books, I loved reading, and I loved writing. And I kind of stopped writing for a while after like maybe middle school, which that's so long ago, oh my gosh. But then recently I started writing again and I just remembered how much I love it and it's so cool and it's like a different way I can express my emotions. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be using is this e.l.f. blush does not say the shade. I'm very sorry, but it is it's this fucking color. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's cool to start doing that again. And I want the book to be not only an ebook, but like a hard copy. So I'm using this one program that's like, it's called Blurb. And um, yeah, I don't know. It can help you with all that stuff, which is kind of exciting. But yeah, so I'm excited for that. I just love, even though ebooks are great, I know a lot of YouTubers have them and just have ebooks. I love the idea of like a physical copy of my book. That would be so cool. You could like put it on a shelf. I don't know. That just sounds so cool. And I know some people prefer physical copies. I don't know. That would just be amazing to see a physical copy of my book. So that's the main goal is to have it be a physical copy, but maybe first it will be an ebook. I'm not really sure. So next I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Highlighter. This highlighter is pretty good, but I really want to upgrade to like uh, what is it? The Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Um, because my friend Sammy used it on me, and I looked so poppin'. Like, so good. This is very subtle. That, I looked so good. So I was like, you know what? I need this in my life. So next time I go to Sephora and get, like, I need to get some new foundation, I'm also going to get that Glow Kit. Because, like, girl, literally, just... Just, just, oh my god, just so fucking good. But yeah, for this product, I do have to use a lot of it. Kind of have to like cake it on. I don't even use a real highlight brush, I just use kind of this highlight shaped brush, <laughs> which is fun, so you know. Okay, guys, next I'm going to take another highlighter. Yes, I'm the extra. It is the ColourPop highlighter, and I'm not sure what the shade is in because it has like makeup on the bottom. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take a little bit and just kind of put that 
on my nose right there and it is a cream so I've tried using it with brushes but it just doesn't work so I usually just take my finger and I'm like you know just put a little bit on I don't know I just love the way that this looks I feel like it gives it a more more poppin look see that okay so next I'm going to be taking the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I fucking love this palette, you guys. And I'm going to be using the shade Triple Fudge. And I'm going to be putting that on my eyebrows. And I've been doing this as my eyebrows for, like, a very long time. I love the way that this looks for some reason. So, you know, eyeshadow on your eyebrows. It's lit. It's motherfucking lit. Well, let's see. What else can I talk about? Any updates on my life? Not really any updates. Um, I want to travel. That's an update. I am going to China in September. I already mentioned that, but I don't know. I want to travel to some more places. But traveling is just so expensive, you guys. Like recently, not recently. I feel like a lot of my money goes towards just like rent and stuff. So I don't know. I'd love to just like be able to travel a lot. But I don't think I can do that right now. I don't know. You never know. Manifest. Whenever Stella and I are about to say something bad, like, oh, I don't think I can do this, or I don't think this will happen, we're always like, don't manifest that, because, I don't know, what you say becomes a reality, I guess. So, yeah, just, just don't, don't manifest bad stuff, y'all. Okay, ooh, hell yes, bitch. Eyebrows are so fun. I, I feel like I've gotten better at them. You guys, I used to do my eyebrows so dark. If you have followed me for a while, you maybe have seen my makeup evolution, and I hope that you are proud of me. I'll usually take the powder, and I'll do it more intense over here, and then just kind of, like, I'll start over here, and then go this way, so it's not just as intense in the beginning. It's hard to make my eyebrows even, because they're literally shaped differently. I don't know, like, how that happened, like, why that happens, but, you know, it's, it's fine. They're sisters. Hey, sister. <laughs> Have you guys watched those compilation videos on YouTube that have just been going around? Like, there's this one that's just, like, James Charles saying hey sisters for, like, two minutes or something. And it's Those are just so funny. Or um, this one of Shane Dawson saying, hey, what's up, you guys? Yes. Like, for two minutes. It's so funny. Okay, I'm going to take this random ass brush and just take this color, Champagne Truffle, which I have almost completely used up. And I'm going to put that under my eyebrows for a light, you know, highlight in that area. This is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I literally hate the actual brow product, but I love this little spoolie thing, so just take that, comb through, make sure everything's not, like, too dark. Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the Sweet Peach Palette from Too Faced, which I love as well. I'm going to be taking the color Luscious and putting that over my eyelids. It's a very, like, I don't know, just a shimmery color, and it's a little bit orange, which I think is absolutely magnificent. Mm -hmm. This palette smells so good, you guys. It actually smells like peaches. I loved, I love the Too Faced eyeshadows. They're always so good, like just amazing. I think it might do a darker look today because we're seeing our witch queen Lana. So I'm gonna take Peach Pit, which is like a purpley color. And I'm gonna go, go over here. Ooh, yes, bitch. Might look a little weird without eyeliner, but trust me, it's gonna look really poppin' in the end, at least. At least I think so, maybe. Maybe you don't think so, but that's okay. That's your opinion. Ooh, bitch! Okay, so next I'm going to be taking the color Caramelize, and I'm going to do that, like, under my eyes. Just as kind of like a, I don't really know what this is called. An under eye color is a good name for it. I don't know. I just feel like it looks good because my eyes are brown. Kind of brings everything together. Yas. Okay, you guys. So next, I'm going to be doing eyeliner, and this is the Wet n Wild Pro Line Felt Tip Eyeliner, and I love this so much. It's so good. I don't know. I just recently bought this, so it's a new, fresh pen too, and I just love fresh pens. You know. So let's. Get started. I usually don't talk when doing my eyeliner, so I'm sorry for the awkward silence. It's a lot easier to draw an eyeliner with a new pen. I was using an old pen for a while. I didn't realize it had dried up, but I was like pressing so hard. I was like, why does my eyeliner look like shit every day? 
Little did I know I just needed a new pen. Hell motherfucking yes. Okay guys, so next I'm going to be putting on mascara. This is the Essence Get Big Lashes Mascara. And this is a pretty good mascara for the price. It's like a couple dollars. It's not the best ever, but it's like pretty good. So just going to put that before I put on falsies, you guys. Of course, it's a falsies day. Some days I don't do falsies, but today is definitely a falsies day for Lana. I have to do falsies for her. I feel like I'm getting ready for like a date, you guys. But it's like not. It's literally a concert. <laughs> People literally have been camping out since yesterday for this Lana concert. Like, I don't understand. I guess maybe to get a good spot, but like... No. <laughs> I am going to be sleeping in my own bed. I am not sleeping on the sidewalks of Hollyweed. That sounds very dangerous and scary. The next thing that we are going to be doing is the lip color. Oh my god, I just blinked. Okay, we're good. We're good, we're good. But I'm going to be doing the lip color. This is a ColourPop lip color. And I'm not sure if this is a shade or not. Everything's completely worn off because it's so old. But it says LAX on the bottom. So I don't know if the shade is called LAX or what. But it's really dark. So let's... Let's do this. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love this lip color on me. Wow, it's so dark. Okay, you guys. So I am going to be doing my eyelashes and then I will come back. For some reason, I just can't do eyelashes on camera. I just mess the fuck up. So I'm going to do them, come back, and then I will show you guys the final look. Okay, anyways, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. This is the final Look, I use the Ardell's Wispies lashes, I believe, and they are just so fucking good. They're probably my favorite fake lashes, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked, give it a like. If you disliked, give it a dislike. Let me know if you want to see more Get Ready With Me's from me, um, and be sure to check out my vlog channel for this Lana concert vlog. Like, I am just so fucking excited. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone!